Hello, my lovelies. Well, first of all, a happy and prosperous 2023 to you all. Yes, you have a good new year. Anyway, what I want to discuss here is Billy Moore's momentary insanity. Where he's done a video saying he wants to work with Darren G and basically blown smoke up Darren G's backside. This in response to a video Darren G put out there where he wants to connect with Billy Moore. Because of course Billy Moore has got the setup, hasn't he? He's got the youths there. He's actually done something, Billy Moore. Give him his due. He has done something to try and distract youths from a life of crime and I'm not going to take that away from him. Which was what Darren G was supposed to have done when he first came out as this golden boy, the reformed ex-con who was going to show all these youths how to, you know, avoid a life of crime. And of course, it came out that he isn't reformed. He's still a very dangerous person. The only reason he isn't acting on these threats to slash women's throats and knife people. Remember, this is the fellow who's telling you to choose life, not a knife. Um, and being extremely abusive, homophobic, vile to women. And talking uh, inappropriately to young girls. You know, he wasn't that character, that golden boy. He should have what Billy Moore has. Actually, he should have, he could have had a hell of a lot more, a hell of a lot more. He could have been going around the schools and universities. He could have had a really good gig there, earning a lot of money. Could have had his own house, the lot, because I've seen other people doing it in other areas. And he destroyed that because of the way he carries on. And is it mental health issues? I suppose it is. But also it's not helped by the fact that we know, we know he's still using. And James English revealed that he was still using. But we could all tell. And that's much of the way he has to do it. Less than all the time he doesn't want you to see his eyes being zoomed out. Anyway, getting back to Billy Moore. Now, I put a community post up saying, well, it was raging when I put that out there and I said I'll reveal something about Billy Moore I'm tempted to do it well I'll explain what I meant in case people think it was something absolutely really horrific it's not horrific it's just it's nasty it's not nice Um, it's crappy let's put it that way more than sinister what happened was um, I first became aware of Billy Moore when I got a message in me, Facebook messages saying that he'd like to interview me. Now I didn't know who the hell Billy Moore was. So I ignored her first because I've said before, I'm not one of these people that like doing interviews after interview after interview. I did an interview with Sean Atwood two years ago. I can't see the point of doing more and more interviews saying the same thing because it bores the hell out of me. You know the way they do it's like, oh, I'm getting this person on there, I'm getting this person on there. And they go on each other's podcasts and like, yawn, yawn. How many times are you going to tell this story? Once is enough. So I was reluctant to do the uh, podcast with Billy. <coughs> but think of uh, James didn't say what a nice guy he was and he was trying to start up his own podcast and all this. So I thought, all right, I'll agree to it. So we did. Now this was the time when the Cali Dime and Daddy Gase, Sean Atwood, fiasco was kicking off and at its height. So when we were in the car, because um, I'm going to cough, sorry. Because <coughs> Billy Moore gave me a lift down to the studio. Um, he was talking about Sean Atwood, did I think he was a perfect and all this business. And so I was giving me a view. And you know, him abusing a young woman with autism, which I've said from day one, right? Kelly Diamond has got the same kind of autism I have. She's fully aware of what she was doing. She's an equal partner with what went on with Sean. And I've said that even when I was fuming with Sean Atwood. He was lying about me. I've always said that. Just because someone has, no, has autism doesn't mean that they don't know what the hell they're doing. Anyway, um, we got to the studio and it became quickly apparent. Actually, Billy Moore said it. 
when we was interviewing me, he didn't know who the hell I was or anything about me. So why ask me to interview me? Then it became clear. It was all about Sean. I'd been got, I'd been asked on there basically just to diss Sean. And it would have been James English that made the suggestion, no doubt about it. Because James English knew me, knew about Daddy getting all this. Billy Moore didn't know about me, didn't know anything about me. So I was very careful. Now you won't see that video because Sean got it taken down. Unfortunately, because if you actually watch it, you see I look totally uncomfortable when it suddenly turns very quickly onto Sean Atwood. And I'm trying to make it, you know, be careful how I'm responding because I knew it was being used and the thoughts, I might be annoyed with Sean, but I'm not going to be used as an idiot here. So I was very, very careful what it was saying. Anyway, we did the interview. Now let's give you a background on Billy Moore. It was James English who helped Billy Moore get his uh, thing, you know, his podcast up and run. It was him who did all that. So, a few months later, I decided to give Sean Atwood a second chance because we were getting, I was getting all this from Sean. No, oh, it was a mistake, you know, I didn't mean to do it, I wasn't thinking. And I thought, look, maybe it was just a mistake and he, it was a disgusting mistake, but... He was getting hammered from all sides, so I thought, all right, let's uh, put an end to this. He's been punished enough for what he did. Big mistake, because he hasn't changed one bit, sure now, but he's still exactly what he was like before. And therefore will change. Very much like Dad and G, when you think. We're very much like Dad and G. So, I did... An interview with Sean again about ACB anti cyber bullying. It wasn't talking about my life and the struggles with the Mayside police and all this. But before we went into our film and we started talking, and he said to me, he said, You know, Billy Moore has been going around um, telling people not to have anything to do with me and slagging me off to people because they went to Sean and told him. Sean wouldn't have known otherwise. So I said, oh, I said, that's not very nice. Then Sean told me, and this is what I meant when, in my community post when I said, oh, I could reveal something. Sean revealed, told me something, and I thought, that's not nice at all. Um, Billy Moore, when his film, you know, I prayed before dawn, well, the film about his life came out, the premiere. He couldn't attend the premiere because he was in prison. But the details behind that are that he'd burgled his neighbor, female neighbour's property. And silly things like flip-flops and drinky talk and all this. But I'm sure jo Sean said something about one of the neighbours was a... Um, and I'm trying to... I can't remember exactly what it was, but was disabled or something. And that's what made it absolutely worse. Well, Sean was the only one that reached out to Billy Moore at that point. This is what Sean said. And offered him help. Because no one wants to know Billy Moore. They were looking upon him as being a scumbag for doing that. So, Sean was saying he felt like he'd been dumped on. Which, I don't blame him for being dumped on. And I thought, that's nasty, that's nasty. No matter whether he doesn't like Sean or not, if Sean was the one that offered him help, he should be thankful to that. So, you had to, it was quick, you could quickly put it together. James English was offering to help um, Billy Moore start some podcast off. James English was trying, which he was, behind the scenes to bring Sean down. No doubt about it, 100%, that's exactly what was happening. And so Billy Moore was thinking, what could he get out of it? Does this sound like someone else? What can I get out of this? Dad and G again. Um, so... To keep to keep um, James happy, he acted as James Patsy. That's what you can see. He was a Patsy for James English attack and show. Anyway, I think he got fed up with her eventually because he sent me a message at one point, Bill Moore, saying he'd like to talk to um, Sean and put it all behind them. But I thought that won't go down with James English. So that was so. It's not major. It's just not nice that someone can act like that. But as for this getting back with um getting back with it wasn't even with him, but you know, offering to work with Dan G, this is gonna be a laugh a minute. 
an absolute laugh a minute because you know what's going to happen. Danji's going to turn on. Of course he is. He's going to turn on Decker Heggy. Look, he only took a master of a couple of weeks to turn on Sean Atwood again, which I said he would. So it's all going to blow up again. But what Billy Moore can't get rid of and can't move away from, even though Darren does that, he knows what Darren is like. And he's willing to bring this man, who I'll say is a danger and shouldn't be around youths, vulnerable youths. And I don't mean that in a sexual way. It could be, I don't know. But I mean it in a bad influence way. A bad difference way he shouldn't aim. be there. So it's going to blow up eventually. And will I have any sympathy for Billy Moore? No. Not one bit. And also there's the danger that when you've got Dan G acting the way he does. Hate speech and all this and threats towards women. F threats of physical harm towards women. That's not going to go down with sponsors very well. And it's going to affect him. And shows that Billy Moore doesn't have good judgment and doesn't know what's and this is where I keep on saying no what when you wait you use people you have to be very careful how you act and you carry on because you're responsible for their safety now I could go on with this but I won't I've just you've just got to sit back on you and see what happens if they do get together and start working with each other but it's going to go Bottoms up, let's put it that way, because the simple reason Darren G was, unless he starts getting thousands of views and loads of money from this, he's going to turn on Billy Moore and it'll be my conscience, I'm using my conscience. You know, it's going to be all that again because Darren will never blame himself for his own failures, he's always got to blame someone else. So I'll leave it at that, my lovelies. Bye-bye for now.